Hey everyone, welcome back to Davo's video and our WikiDPad reference tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over how to put text beside a table or a picture. Let's get started. When it comes to putting text beside other text or pictures, a table is generally a really good way to go about this. So you can see here we have our little image which I'll go over in another video how to import images and save them in reference to your wiki so that your links don't break. And we have our text here on the right. You can see here, there's a lot of information. It's kind of hard to read. So we're going to go in and we'll look at this step by step. First, you have to create your table. So you can see here, we have our opening table and our closing table functions. And then the only other relevant function to our table is this single break. If you're only putting text next to a picture or other text, you should really only need the one vertical line here. But as we went over in another video in point five, creating a table, there is a lot of interesting things that you can do with tables. So don't feel like you're limited with a lot of the things that you can do. So one thing that I like to do when I'm putting text beside a table is I like to differentiate between paragraphs or sentences. Seeing as how this is only one paragraph, however, I would differentiate between sentences. So you have Amerigo Vespucci, and we we're gonna go here. This is technically a footnote without any link, so we will include it. And here I'm gonna type in the break function and get rid of our extra space there. We're gonna go ahead, follow this along. George Washington's A de Caen. General of the Continental Army, Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Reed, period. Get rid of our extra space, type in our break function, less than greater than BR, greater than less than sign, will express his wish to go, blah, blah, blah. We have our three links. Uh, footnotes here, I have another break function, and that should be it. Now let's take a look at it. So now we have our sentences broken up so we can see where each of them begin and end. It's still a little much, still a little bit difficult to read. So let's go in and we're gonna create secondary breaks and see if we can't make this a little easier to read. There we go. All right, now we have all of our sentences broken up. There's a space in between each of them with our secondary breaks. And this is much, much more easy to read. The other thing that I would do is I would come in here and if I'm not using these footnotes, I would just get rid of them. However, if you're using your footnotes and you don't wanna get rid of them, and if they're making it hard to read, I would superscript or subscript them. We also covered that in our footnotes video, which you should also check out. There we go. Much easier to read. We don't have a lot of numbers or things cluttering up our space. And the one footnote that we do have is here in a superscript and it's very apparent that that is a footnote. This footnote is not hyperlinked because we do not have a footnote down here that matches our footnote there. So that's just one way that I put text beside a ta inside of a table next to a picture or next to other text and it makes it a lot easier for you to aggregate your information. I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.